w when you use your right arm a lot, then you start, you should uh, start engaging left arm more. So reduce the, the roll of the right arm and increase the roll of the left arm. Yeah, but the left arm will give you good motion here. Particularly if you want to have a good push. Part of the reason is why it's hard to uh, push well is because if your right arm comes in, going this way, is that if you use the left arm, by throwing the left arm, you will be able to kick the ground easily. Would, would, it, be bad to, would it be bad to hit balls slowly with just my left arm? You don't have to hit the ball with the left arm, but uh, the intention is just to engage your left arm more. So in order to use the left arm more, then you have to have a good wind up. When you use the right arm a lot, then no need to uh, turn the shoulders that much. Because you will hit the ball with the right arm anyways. So go here and then just to hit the ball with this. Mm -hmm. But when you start engaging the left arm more, in order to use the left arm well, you have to have a good shoulder turn here with this throw. So that's what the one arm drill is all about. So with this section, mm, and then throw. So it does not mean that you have to use a. That'd be, that'd be a good idea to do some of those. Yeah, yeah. So the, the purpose of the drill is to increase the role of the left arm. It doesn't mean that you're, you're not using the right arm, sure. but uh, engage the left arm more. So this action here. Easy, and then go, good wind up, and let it go. So oftentimes uh, I kind of wonder, um, lower handicap amateurs, you've uh, played golf for so long with a certain style. Mm -hmm. Typically it's arm driven, particularly the rigid wrist here. Uh, should I really change this? I mean, uh, if you can generate good score with it, and then you're, if you're not particularly uh, unhappy with it, then it may be a good idea to just maintain it. But when you come here, you want to do something, right? Then always my recommendation is get away from that motion pattern because uh, oh, along the way you have uh, 20, 30 more years to come. <laughs> okay. Now the... I've seen the I mean, I, I am actually hitting the ball better than from doing your drills. Yeah, so... You cannot keep uh, relying on your muscles. As we get old, uh, older and older, then uh, you have to use uh, everything you have. Of course, the, the muscles, but at the same time, the range of motion as well. So you have to gradually change your pattern anyways. So um, I think I, uh, you know, I'll put the work in. this is uh, the perfect time uh, for doing that. No, okay. I'll definitely put the work in. Now, let's go to stage three. Okay, stage three, so use your regular stance and have a good trigger and then bring it back fast. And then remember, in doing this, naturally you have to again use a shift and stand, the shift stand pattern. And also, most of it should be driven by the shoulder turn, not the arms. Okay, so let's do a stage three. Again, turn your shoulders more. You're not turning the shoulders enough. Mm -hmm. On the forward swing or the back swing? The all, all, uh, in, oh. yeah, in all, all the way. Trigger, back swing, and the down swing. Everything. Now, in the trigger motion, what I see is that you are upper body is leaning that way in the trigger motion, like this. Okay. Instead, stay still. Instead, just shift to the pelvis, and then lean slightly backward here. It's easy to start the back swing actively here. If you go here, you have to slide and then turn. That's what I've been doing. So that's generally, that's what I've been doing yeah. is go like that, and then. Yeah. Generally, try to stay in this cone-shaped space. So. In the, in the trigger motion, throw this way here. You see, if you just move the pelvis this way while keeping the upper body 
So this is the correct one. Yeah, while keeping the head where it is, and then you just uh, shift the pelvis, then you'll go to this position here. So go here, and also try to turn this way here. Try to keep the head relatively stationary, and then just move your pelvis a lot. Mm. Now the tempo, uh, you have to give more time here. Instead of try to dominate the whip, you have to wait until this motion is completed. So try to minimize the bending of the whip. Okay. In order to minimize the bending, you have to wait until this is completed and then start the motion. So go here and give enough time for the transition phase here and then bring it back and also give enough time and then let it go instead of... Both will rush, the trigger and the back's work. Yeah. When you rush, then you'll have a lot of bending. Okay. So try to minimize the bending. Yeah, and particularly at the top, feel the motion of the whip. Instead of forcing it, let it go. Let it go as much as you know it wants to go. Yeah, that that shape was good. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it again. So make it continuous. Make it continuous. And instead of using your arms a lot, try to uh, use your, your lower body more. Shift stand and uh, turn your shoulders. Those are the, all you need to remember. Again. So make it continuous. Make it continuous. And remember again, it's uh, all shoulder motion, shoulder turn. Shoulder turn is what's, what's driving everything, not the, your arm action. Ah, turn your shoulders more at the end of action. More. I know wherever you, you can uh, turn more. So. So, okay. So the trick here is make the motion faster. That's when motion faster. Yeah. So while you're giving more time, to start the, before you start the action, but the motion itself should be faster. Right. Yeah, so go here in the weight, but then the actual motion should be faster. Using faster motion, try to turn your shoulders more. Yes, that's better, yeah. Again, so turn, with the, just push and then keep good turn here. Mm -hmm. And no need to swing hard in the, uh, in, uh, in the downswing. If you have a good shorter turn, automatically you will have a good uh, downswing, okay? So no need to intentionally put a lot of effort. Uh -huh. And then even in the downswing, try to lean that way, your upper body that way and then throw the arms and uh, rip this way. So again, ima uh, image the pyramid shape or the cone shape space. That trigger was a bit small and you had to uh, bring it quickly. So yeah, when, when, when you really feel the motion of the whip, then what happens is this, let it go, bring it back and swing. Let it go, bring it back and swing. Let it go, bring it back and swing. So you will work with the whip. You will play with the whip instead of try to uh, dominate it, okay? So it's the mid-size. Do you have an orange whip? When you buy it, uh, use, a, use a promo code Kwan, K-W-O-N, okay. then you will get the 10% discount. Uh, no, just uh, go to uh, the Orange Whip website okay. and use promo code Quan, my name. Okay. Again, so make it rhythmic. Remember when we did the shift stand, the shift stand the drill, you had a little bit of dancing action, right? So now it's the time to use that here. Good trigger and then bring it back and let it go. Yes. Mm.
So wait until this is uh, matured and then let it go. Keep good wind up in the back swing. Mm -hmm. In the downswing, you, you just use uh, about 80% of your effort. It's okay. Yeah, no need to swing hard. So just to pay attention to fast the backswing motion and good wind up of your shoulders. The key is uh, how much you, you can turn your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So when you have enough shoulder turn, the, what happens is go here and on the way down, you're starting it with the shoulder turn and then let the arms go. But if you don't have enough shoulder turn, using the arms. So almost the image is just something like this. Turn, throw, turn, good turn and throw, good turn and throw. Good wind up. So using the momentum of the... With the trigger, always stage three. Yeah, with the good uh, moment, uh, momentum developed in the backswing, create uh, that shoulder turn. Yes, again. And also on the way down, try to turn your shoulders more actively. Mm -hmm. So when you start the downswing with the shoulder turn, shoulder turn and then add this arm motion here. That's what, what, I, what I want. Yeah, that, that, that yeah, this one is good. Yeah, this one is good. So yeah, on the way down, try to use uh, your shoulder turn. Take advantage of the shoulder turn. So in, in the backswing, the main goal is to create good shoulder turn, right? With a good shift and then good amount of shoulder turn. Then on the way down, you have to really take advantage of this. Go here and then using the shoulder turn and then let it go. Then naturally, you will be able to engage your left arm more. Yeah. <laughs> and then now, on the way down, try to limit this shift. So you're shifting too much this way. So go here. Again, this is uh, a cone-shaped space, right? Go here. And if your body's upper body is already leaning this way slightly, then all you need is just to turn around. So no need to... Stay center. Yeah, so if your pelvis moves enough, then your head does not have to move that much. <laughs> yeah. So that way you'll be able to really throw the arms and whip this way. Ah, rushed, rushed, rushed. Give more time. So you should have a stable finish, a stable uh, top of back swing position. That uh, was a more uh, good, uh, good timing there. But on the way back, you try to pull it here. So go here and again, turn the shoulder. In the back swing, turn the shoulder and then bring it here. So turn the shoulder and start the motion. And at the end, if you add the arm motion, then nicely it will come here. But if you do this, it's hard to control here. Good shoulder turn and add the arm motion at the end. That's better. That's better. Yeah. Instead of, instead of uh, pulling it, go here, turn around, and then add the arm motion here. Again. So make it continuous. Mm -hmm. Let me record this. Stage three with that. Okay, ready. Oh, so ready, go. Now, let me, uh, let me do another one from here. Okay, ready, go.
So if you look at the trigger motion, your body is going this way, leaning. So here, using the leg push and then do this, and then go here, and then swing here. But the flow is a lot better here. Yeah, here, yeah, definitely using the arms here. Mm -hmm. Don't make me proud. <laughs> Now yeah, you you are using the body better. Now let's do do this with the club. So have good trigger instead of uh, forcing the motion uh, club motion with your wrist. Again, try to feel the motion of the club head. With the orange whip, it was easier because this was heavy, right? But now with that, still you have to feel the motion of the club head. It give me enough shoulder turn and enough motion of the club. Stage three. Again. And are you shifting and standing? Shift and stand? I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, so this, this one, just pay attention to the shift motion, and then the arms will automatically follow. So the shoulders, the arms will automatically follow. So, uh, stage three. Mm. I'm not recording, just, just go ahead. Yeah, that flow is uh, improving. Now make a back swing really fast. Increase the back swing speed. So you have to use a rhythmic trigger and then with that, good back swing. Yeah, try to have, uh, try to move the club a bit more so that you can see the club head. After, uh, in, the, in the back swing, at the top of back swing, you should be able to see the club head on this side. That means you have to drop, here drop the club head more. So try to increase the club motion during the back swing. Yes, like that, again. And then give me more shoulder turn at the end of the back swing. Now you try to swing hard in the down swing, no need to do that, yeah? Just, <laughs> but, but with this already, your swing is a lot more uh, energetic and then you are now you are using the muscles uh, a lot better so the timing has improved quite a bit there's no question about that but just the uh, key fast motion the good wind up here stand on the right side and the good wind up and then let it go again Go, uh, go a bit easy, okay? The no need to swing hard, but the try, to con uh, try, to try to connect the whole motion as a one, one motion, one continuous motion, okay? Smooth and continuous motion. So feel the rhythm, dance. Ah, the back swing is uh, slow. Back swing is uh, slow, and then you try to swing hard in the down swing. Oh, no, so here, give me crazily fast motion all the way. Fast motion, but enough time, fast motion. Fast. Yeah. So see uh, how, how fast you can go. That was uh, arm driven. So still you should be body driven, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're losing the balance. That means you're shifting this way quite a bit in the downswing. Rushing, rushing at the top, give more time. So everything starts from uh, the trigger. At the end of the trigger, you're pulling it.
you are not waiting until uh, this is completed and the start. You, you try to pull it down. Not letting the trigger mature. Yeah, let it mature. So give it here and then fast the motion and then let it mature and then let it go. Instead of, so when you rush, the, everything is uh, arm driven. So turn, <laughs> turn the shoulders. Okay. So from the beginning, give good shoulder turn, pelvis turn. Yeah, and then turn the shoulders to start the back swing. Yes. And relax your wrist. And rather use the wrist more actively. Use the wrist more actively. Yes. Use your wrist. Use your wrist. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Particularly when on the way down, when you use the wrist properly, then it will slow down the body. So uh, you have a stable finish. Okay, when you lose the balance, that means you are turning your, your body too much. But by adding the arm in the wrist motion here, it will slow down the body. Okay, again. So you, because you have to repeat this swing many times, <laughs> You'd better use your energy well. Okay, make make the swing more efficient. Good shoulder turn during the trigger. Again. Now in the trigger motion, you are leaning this way, right? So mm, push. If you uh, push the left leg well, that's what I'm not doing. I'm then not, it will limit this motion. Right? That's what I'm not doing. As I'm not. Now this is a dynamic motion, so you cannot really stand on it and stay there. Right. So push outward and push outward. So you have to have a continuous motion like this. So the easiest way to do it is again image this cone-shaped space here. So go here, go here, let it go. So your upper body is not moving that much. Your lower body, the pelvis is moving quite a bit. Here, here, to this position, but still my head is not moving that much. Mm -hmm. And then let it go and turn around. So it's a fairly exhale turn. Now I'm focusing right now on so, the trigger. And so this is what I'm doing. Yeah, so uh, image that uh, cone-shaped space. Mm -hmm. So try to feel like just rolling your body about the spine as axis. I, as, I the trick, as I do the trick, this leg is actually... Yes, yes. this is just to push. Yes. What so. starts first, the leg or the club? They both start to go. No, leg should start to every, leg everything. Leg and then the club. Yeah. So yeah, the, your <laughs> one problem you have is uh, before you start the motion, you look too serious. So as if you are mm -hmm. thinking about uh, what to do here. Or, about or, or worrying about what's happening in the, 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 the other part of the world, okay? You, know, you have deep thoughts. It looks like you're in deep <laughs> thoughts. But actually, in order to start this motion well, you have to actually have this rhythm. So your legs are pushing the ground, alternating. So, start this way with the left foot. so you have a little bit of uh, stepping like action. If you have this rhythm here, you can start motion always, anytime, by using that rhythm. So what happens is, uh, before you start this motion, actually you load onto this side more, and then by pushing, by pushing this, you're starting this motion. And then push here. So, so it's, oh, it's both feet to initiate the swing? No, you use the right foot first. Using the right foot, go to this position here. Okay. And then use the left foot to uh, do this. To go, come back. Yeah. So you, always uh, how to start the motion is really important. If you go too, uh, too static before you start the motion, then uh, if you have equal weight on both sides, it's hard to uh, start the motion. In order to start the motion, you should have more push from the right side using this and then start this motion here. And then push this side here. 
So always it's a matter of uh, let me try this. pushing the ground, alternating. So make it make it more continuous. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better. Yeah. So you are reducing the. Because that's what I haven't been doing is starting with that. Mm. I've been starting with that. Book. Yeah. I'm trying to. So always uh, the key is uh, pushing outward, 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 outward here, so that you will be able to confine your motion in this coin-shaped space. Let me do one more small. Mm. Only one more. <laughs> you, st <laughs> you still have, a, you still have a lot more to make. <laughs> yeah. Again, stage three. Oh, your swing is changing now. Good. Yeah. So you are getting into uh, this rhythm. So let me record this. And make it more continuous, okay? Smooth and continuous instead of uh, having abrupt motion. Okay, ready, go. <laughs> when I said make, make it continuous and smooth, everything slows down. Speed it up. Yeah, still the motion should be fast, but make everything continuous so that you don't abrupt uh, you don't you know, abruptly start the motion the stop rather make it continuous continuous and continuous speed too but the, the the speed should be fast enough okay still motion should be fast enough so but don't worry about uh, let's see don't worry about smoothing the the swing just to try to make it fast but have more time at the end okay so ready go Okay, ready, go. Go. I want you to uh, turn the shoulders a bit more at the end of the back swing. Still, it's uh, not less than 90 degrees. If you, you turn your shoulder a bit more at the end of the back swing, then the downswing will look really good. Okay? Mm. So what? Uh, here. But the flow is now a lot better. You're not fighting anything. Still, your body is kind of stiff, but Here, fell. It's so obvious that you're using the arms to hit the ball here, pulling it in. Now, look at the flow. So here, just your, what we are missing is a, a bit more shoulder turn. So your goal now is with the backswing, try to have more shoulder turn. With a fast motion, you will have a bit more shoulder turn, okay? They give me more shoulder turn and make me happy. <laughs> yeah, just practice, so uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And then increase the speed more. In the backswing. So give me a crazily fast backswing. No, the backswing is, backswing did not uh, sped up, but rather you try to swing harder in the downswing. So give me good backswing. I think that's the, the key for you. No, 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 no. Backswing is even slow down. <laughs> it's a slower now. Yeah. So. 
go here and <clears throat> go here and using the body, bring it back quickly. Give me really fast back swing. That's better, that's better. Yeah, give me that kind of back swing. Ah, this time it was, it was a bit slower. But now with the, that faster motion, your swing is now even getting better now. Mm -hmm. That's good. So we're in the right direction. Increase the back swing speed more. Make it uh, faster in the back swing. Uh -huh. Again. Oh, yes. Again. Okay, now you're changing. Yep. You are breaking uh, out of that uh, barrier. Yes. So we're talking about a very different swing now. It's a lot more dynamic. Uh huh. Can you hear the sound? The, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are really getting into uh, the rhythm here. Yes. And then on the way down, try to use your, your wrist more actively. Mm hmm. Tell me what I need to work on. Let me record this. You must be tired. <laughs> Here. So let's so that that fast back string, that's good. So uh, give me uh, that active uh, back string. Okay. So ready go. Oh, you are, you are into this. <laughs> now you can do this without even thinking. Very good. It's, it's always hard to break the barrier, but once you break the barrier, then it's just uh, you know, as natural as uh, you can imagine. Okay. okay, ready, go. So as your swing, back swing becomes faster, you are not doing any unnecessary movement. So uh, actually, more centered. actually your swing becomes uh, simpler. Much, much better. This is the previous one. <laughs> this looks like a 45 year old swing. The previous one, 75. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here. So now you can do this uh, stage three without even thinking. So now this, you are, this is taking over your you know, uh, swing. This is good. Now let's do this. So mm -hmm. let's uh, connect this uh, to uh, your regular swing. So we'll use uh, stage three as your pre-shot routine. Mm -hmm. So have a full scale stage three in the swing. The second one is a mini stage three. So go about this much here. The whole purpose is try to bring it more close to the- Show me what you mean by the mini, mini swing. Mm. So in your full scale stage three, you're going this much, right? Go here and then bring it back to this position. In the mini stage three, go about this much. But still use a similar effort, similar time. This time versus this time. This should be similar. Still you're using your body. Body turn and then bring it back. So uh, do uh, two stage threes with the full effort or the f uh, full magnitude and then half or mini. So full stage three, mini stage three, but this part should be the same. And then your regular swing. So you are doing three. Regular stage three. Regular stage three. Regular stage three. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do stage three with a smaller, yeah, smaller trigger motion. And then go ahead and go to 
top. The same thing, the same thing, swing. yeah. And then, and then regular swing. Regular in the regular swing, try to uh, take advantage of the rhythm you developed. Okay, so all three in a row. So two all three in a row. So yeah, full stage three, mini stage three, and um, regular swing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you are, you are tend to rush in the mini stage three and the regular swing. You uh, started rushing. Rushing the back swing or the down swing? So uh, particularly in the mini stage three from here, you rushed. So keep enough time here and then bring it back. Because what will drive the back swing is the lower body action instead of this action here. So with this and then lower body action versus this and the lower body action, it's the same thing. So do not rush here. Then you will not rush here. And then in the regular swing, Again, try to have a shift first and then turn around here instead of just try to bring it up. So what, what's important is you have to remember the rhythm you used in the first stage three, in the mini stage three, and use the same lower body action to start the back swing in the regular swing, okay? So you have to connect all these, match the... Uh, mm. So this will... This will be, this will need a, a little bit of a practice, but uh, again, you will get into it uh, easily. <laughs> You're putting a lot of effort in the downstream. The back swing is not fast enough in all three. So again, the, the downswing will come automatically when you have a good back swing, right? So in doing this, your main focus should be good wind up in the back swing. It's not about, you know, full effort uh, downswing. This is what's important instead of go here and then try to swing hard. The loading. This is important. Again, stage three, full stage three, Mini stage three and the regular. Mm -hmm. yeah, give me that fast uh, back swing. Uh, back swing slow down in the mini. Ah, I tried to swing hard in the down swing. In the reg regular swing, try to have a more active backswing. Still, the key is a good backswing, not the downswing. Stage three. Mm -hmm. Remember that rhythm. Remember that rhythm, and then have in the mini stage three, uh, in the mini stage three, backswing, slow the down, and then try to swing hard in the, in the downswing. Again, to the full scale, no, 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 still you try to swing hard in the downswing. If you connect all these, you have to pay attention to the lower body action. All three will have the same lower body action. Mm, bring it back and then swing versus mm, bring it back and then swing. And then mm, bring it back and then swing. All three have the same body action. But what happens is when you have a smaller trigger, then this slows down. In the, in the, and then you have the tendency of try to swing hard in the back swing, uh, in the down swing. So um, mini trigger, mm, and then regular swing. Mm. <laughs> but again, the key is the back swing, right? Good wind up. Try to create enough shoulder turn and then, hmm? all three, all three, always uh, use to the all three. Okay, that is good.
Yeah, you you rushed here. Which one was rushed? From the trigger to the backswing. Although the magnitude is smaller, you have to give us the same amount of time here. So overall, you want to maintain the whole uh, rhythm here. So this versus this, the same contents, the same uh, timings. So it doesn't mean, this smaller one doesn't mean you quickly uh, come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same thing. And then, mm -hmm. the same thing. Swing at that the mini mini stage three mini stage three the trigger is coming from your arm motion only that's why here mm, use the body it's not this big but still this should come from your body action and then start here instead of it's all about the lower body action what uh, determines the overall rhythm the flow is the lower body action. Yeah, that pattern is better. However, that pattern is better. There, you have a better timing there, but the action should be faster. 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 Ah, faster, faster action. Give me faster action. Yes, that's it. That's it. So when you have faster action, you have enough wind up and the club motion, then you don't rush down. But when you slow this down and then you don't have enough back string, then you definitely use your arms and rush down. How many, se how many sessions would you recommend a day? What do you mean? Practicing. Um, well, it depends. But to me, you are full scale stage three. That's, that's really good. So you already, you are into that rhythm, but the only thing is that the connection between that and your regular string. And we introduced the mini stage three to uh, sort of uh, facilitate that uh, transition, what right? What I need to do is just to video myself, do it all three. And for, for, for the moment, I think uh, do the full scale stage three more. Do a lot of the stage three? Yeah and make sure that uh, the rhythm is uh, perfectly uh, or the permanently uh, settled in your swing pattern. And then you can certainly work on the mini stage three and the regular swing. But uh, first of all, you need to uh, uh, have that uh, good rhythm in your stage three, okay, permanently. So when that happens, uh, the, the next trip is a bit easier. So currently still the, the overall rhythm is not 100% uh, in place. Do you want me to also work with the kettlebell on the road? Yeah, now the whole world will be different. With the, this rhythm developed, when you do the kettlebell swing, a rope swing, everything, everything will be different from uh, you know, what, you do, what, what you did before. Do you Uh, no, no, keep, keep, the, keep the arms straight, keep the arms straight. Do not, do not use the elbow, do not use the elbow to uh, move, move this, not this one. When you flex your elbow, then you start using the elbow here. So uh, keep it straight here, and then try to swing everything. Yeah, swing, swing, instead of using the elbow, yeah. Keep, keep it closer here, keep it closer. Here and then bring it a bit higher. Remember, higher here. Yeah. Like so that. this here. Arm straight off of my chest. And then yeah, keep it uh, closer here. Do not let it go too, too far out. And then bring it up higher, higher. Is so this, that is this correct right here? Yeah. And then try to bring it more like this here. So again, move the, move it. Try to move it along the the straight line here. Relax the upper body, relax the upper body. Just uh, keep it uh, closer. 
the relaxed upper body, relaxed upper body, and the use the lower body. Shift, stand, shift, stand. Uh, it looks like it's an upper body driven. It's, it's, it looks like it's an upper body driven here. Relax. Just move moved the body more. Move the body. No. <laughs> Instead, try to uh, turn. No, no need to turn this. Just to try to keep a good shift motion. Shift, 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 shift. So from there, now add the arm motion. Easy, easy. Push up, stand up, stand up. Stand up like a rhythm, like, like this. Yeah. Yeah. You have the tendency of uh, using the muscles, but particularly you are contracting the muscles too much. So that makes the whole body quite rigid. Then you lose uh, the mobility uh, at the joints. I think I need to stage three. <laughs> yeah. But uh, your stage, then particularly uh, using the whip, the orange whip, mm -hmm. I, I think you can. Uh, feel the motion of the whip well, so it'll be a lot easier. Use one of these two? And try uh, the rope swing. Again, it should come from the body motion. Now, now you're doing this. You're doing this. Mm -hmm. Again, it should be turn, turn, Shoulder turn, not, not this here. Turn the shoulder more. Turn the shoulder more. Turn. Turn the pelvis and shoulder using the shift and stand. Swing. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, already uh, in this session. It's getting better. However, still you are contra contracting your muscle I too much. To use, I need to use the rope and focus on turning my hips and shoulders. So you have to you I have can. to mobilize your shoulder girdles so that swing and then turn the shoulder girdles more more here, bring it back and then also here more instead of. So get you, in front of a mirror and make sure I'm. Yeah, we do have uh, additional uh, range of motion allowed it, uh, in the shoulder girdle. So the shoulder girdles will move relative to the chest, right? So you have to uh, relax here and then utilize this. Otherwise, the whole shoulder and chest will move together and then you're only using the arms here. Add turn, 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 add the additional uh, motion here using the shoulder girdles. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Tom. So let's uh, conclude this with uh, the club swing again. Stage three, mini stage three, and the regular swing. But this time, this time, give me, your, your focus is the good back swing, fast and uh, large back swing, okay? I will record the whole, the, the whole thing, all three. So, it's just practice first, practice. Ah, uh, no, the back swing was slow, the back swing was slow. Make, make the back swing fast and the peak, no matter what. Yes, the key, the key in this rhythm is that fast and the large enough back swing. If you don't secure that, then down swing is rushed. Okay, now, okay. Stage three. Stage three, mini stage three, and your regular swing, okay? Ready, go. Again, uh, mini stage three, but keep good back swing. Go. Go. That's the full stage three. Go. Again, uh, mini stage three, but keep good back swing. Go. Go. That's the full stage three. Here. You, yeah, you will do all three in a row. Full stage three, mini stage three, and the regular, okay? But uh, so with the full, full scale stage three, develop good rhythm, and then maintain that in the mini stage three, particularly faster back swing, large enough back swing, 
and then also do the same thing in the regular swing, all three. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, go. Keep going, keep going. Go. Keep going, keep going. So here, during the back, the, in the regular stage three, the back swing was fast enough. Now, That's with a smaller, it gets slower. Mm -hmm. I, I call it, but I'm and then, to become conscious. Now, in your regular swing, it was faster. Try, still try to put a lot of effort in the downswing. Mm -hmm. But when you have good wind up, downswing should be oh, automatically okay. uh, fast enough. See, regular stage three is good, back swing is fast. Slower. And then try to swing hard in the downswing. And that the same thing happens in the regular swing. Yep. So uh, you need to practice this more. And then give me the regular swing only. And then in the regular swing, try to uh, have a really fast back swing. Mm. Really fast. The fastest you can. And then try to have more wind up here. So fast back swing and then give enough wind up. So your end goal, end goal in the back swing is not just the making faster here, but using this, you have to have uh, enough to race center, enough turn here. Okay. So fast back swing. Ah, you're shifting this way too much. So keep more shift this way. So start the back swing with the initial shift. Shift and then turn here. Remember, the pelvis has to go here. So shift enough and then turn. And then from there, no need to shift the, uh, this way too much. Go here and then just the turn around. Yeah, always uh, in the regular swing, you're not shifting that much this way and you're shifting this way too much. So still you try to swing hard in the downswing. You have to get out of that, uh, that urge, okay? Mm -hmm. Just have fast swing here. Fast swing using the body turn, you have to go down instead of, you have to get out of that. Uh, tell, tell me to do a good job and turn it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to get, uh, allow you to go today unless you uh, give me that. Fast back swing and a good wind up. <laughs> uh, 
are putting a lot of effort in the downstream. One thing you have to be careful is that when you put a lot of effort in the downstream, it may give you a hook. Because you are forcing the club in the downstream quite a bit through the impact, it may give you a bad hook. So your goal is not to uh, swing hard on the way down, but rather from here. So try to make the downswing smoother. Okay. Intentionally try to use about 80% of your effort. So the goal is from here, good wind up here. Good wind up and then let it go. You have to have more time up there. Okay. So fight the urge to go down quickly. After the backswing, have enough time. That's better, that's better. But still, you are shifting this way quite a bit. You have to push the left leg and then limit this shift. The cone-shaped space. That's better, that posture is better. Mm. So have uh, the feel of uh, starting the mower during the back swing. Mm. So here, you it call. Actually, it actually works better. This, this bend is better than mine. So go here, mm -hmm. and then as you do the back swing, go like this. Using the leg action here, try to pull. So shift and then turn. But this has to come from the leg action, not your um, mm, here. Mm, mm. So doing the back swing, if this is uh, what you want to create, mm, this motion here, instead of mm, and they have enough shoulder turn here. This is really important. For you, if your shoulder is not enough, you always have the arm. With, what, with, what, with the arms width and enough repetitions at the correct speed, that, that's going to fix that. Yeah, so as you, as you repeat this motion, more than anything, you have to pay attention to the lower body action. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if the lower body action is right, then the transition is really smooth from uh, full stage three, mini stage three, and the regular swing. But, but because the lower body action, you don't remember the lower body action. That's why rush. So that requires a lot of practice. But if you look at the full stage, uh, full scale stage three only, your swing is uh, now very different. Well, we can get there. I can get the, I'll yeah, put the yeah, work yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So no problem. I just hadn't had the. I hadn't, so from there, I from haven't the, had the proper instruction. Mm -hmm. From there, so keep working on stage for the, uh, for a while. Just the. Uh, Keep working on the full stage, uh, full scale stage three. Right. Yeah. Once you have that, you will feel more comfortable as you do the swing. Then that's you it. Go to the mini and then, then go to the mini. All right. Let me do this one time. Mm. Do, you, do you like doing it with both with both hands? Um, in your case, uh, you know, you need to well, work. I've been doing it is like like this. Mm. That that will work. That will work. Yeah. And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And you are, you, you are pulling the arm. Okay. Perhaps <laughs> I've been doing it wrong then. <laughs> yeah. The, by pushing the ground, then you're turning. So here, keep it straight. Keep on. And then you will turn the shoulder, okay? Shift and turn the shoulder by using the leg, and then here, and go the same thing here. So without using the arms. Mm. No, no arms. Legs here. only. Legs only. Mm. Legs only. So you have to create that uh, with the leg action. Is this correct, Dr. Kwan? No, you're going at the same time. Shift the first and then turn. Shift. And then turn. Yeah. And then shift, shift, it, shift this way and turn. Then, then you will really build the tension here. So let me shift, turn, shift, turn. turn. Is that correct? Mm. So uh, awesome to job. me, this is a strong. It is a strong bend. So, uh, if you put it this way here, it is. then, mm, 
I don't use the arms much. Just uh, it's uh, all connected so here. The leg. So using the leg and the turning the shoulders here. Mm, here. Instead of try to do this. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the, this way, this way. The left one. Left. No, no, not that way. Hold, hold it this way, like this. Like this? Yeah, that's, yeah. Hold it, yeah. Hold it and then keep. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Using the, using the shift and the turn, yes. Then you are pulling it with the legs. Is that it? Yeah. Yes. So essentially doing... This job, this, doing this work with your leg muscles instead of... Uh, 300, 300 days a day or a month or do something. Yeah, yeah. So by using the leg, first the shift this way and then push the leg. It will give you naturally the turn here, turn here. So shift and then turn, shift and turn by using the leg instead of... And then later do it for the opposite side. Hmm. It is important to have a good shift here. Okay. For, now, oh, stage, going, for now, stage three and this. Going to uh, try it again. Sure. Try it again. Und underneath your left foot. So stand on the mat. Stand on the mat. And then there, try to excessively shift to the right and then turn around. Turn. Like this. So you have to have enough shift this way. Okay. When the pelvis shifts enough, here, you can really use the leg and the turn like this. So the, the position of the hip is really important. Again, relax. Would you take a photo of this and email it to me, please? Move the pelvis more this way. Straighten your knee. So that way you can really put the tension on the right side, right hip. Okay. Thank you very much. It has to come, and also try to turn and go this way. Turn this way, try it again. Yeah, you are only, you're turning your head here. Shift more, shift more, shift more this way. Shift more this way. And then turn here. Yeah. That way, automatically you're building the tension without, without intentionally pulling. Just, uh, just using the leg action and turning. Dr. Kwan, I think you may have underestimated the speed increase. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, I think we may be looking at a couple more miles an hour. It feels that way. So just work on your full scale stage three a lot. And particularly if you don't increase the backswing speed, and you don't have enough wind up, then that has no effect. So using this mm, good fast motion, the good turn here, and the start downswing, then everything will be quite natural. And then once you have that, without even thinking you can go to uh, enough backswing, then move on to the next stage. But uh, it's quite promising, uh, the way you are moving in your full-scale stage three. Thank you so much. And then, thank, thank you for so the cap. Oh.